All right, let's talk about how to get a file from our camera roll to our Google Drive. So let me just go into an app here. I'm just in an animation app, and I'm going to pick one of my animations, like maybe this guy in a sailboat here that's uh, waving at everybody, okay? So I want this animation in my Google Drive. It's, I need, maybe I need to turn it into a teacher or something like that and share it with somebody. So I'm going to just tap the share button here, tap on share. I don't know what your app needs to do, but somehow you need to get it to your camera roll or to your photos app. So it shows me what it looks like right here. So I can tap the save button and then it tells me uh, your video was saved to your photos. So I know that it's there now. So let me go ahead and close this and open up photos. And in my recent items here, you can see there's my little guy right there uh, ready to be uploaded. So I know that it's in the camera roll or it's in, in this case, it's in collections, but it's in, in my photo app. So uh, let me go ahead and open up Drive. Let me just do a quick search for it. There it is. Okay, so I've opened up my Google Drive, and I'm just going to tap the plus button up here, and I'm going to, I can add anything to a new document, new spreadsheet, but right here it says upload photos or video. So I'm going to tap on that. It might ac ask you for access to your photo album, so you just click on yes. But I've already done this before, and I can see my camera roll is right there, and there's my guy right here waving. And I'm going to just put a little check mark on it. You can alt, uh, upload multiple things if you wanted to. So if I needed this and a picture of this fish, I could do both those things at the same time. Check marks are on both of those. And then just tap the big check mark up here, and it's adding those to your Google Drive. Once it's in Google Drive, you can then share it. So let's go do that next. Okay, so here's the two files that I've just uploaded. They're called IMG or image files because I didn't name them, so they've popped in right here. I could rename them if I wanted to. I could uh, tap on the I button right here and then give it a better name. That would be probably something I could do. It So I could say, you know, fish. Or maybe it's the project title that your teachers asked you to do. So maybe it's fish dash, you know, Flickinger dash Brad. I don't know, but anyhow, that's how to rename it. So you just saw I just tapped on the little I button there. Okay, so now let's go ahead and, and share this. Okay, so if you have a file here you want to share with your teacher or something, the same thing, you just tap on the little I button right here. And then we have a share icon right here. So I'm going to tap on share. And then I'm going to put uh, my son in here. So I'll just share it with, with Peter. Okay, so you just type in the address uh, of the person and what they can do to it. I'm going to allow Peter only to view this file, not edit it. Or he, Well, I'm going to make him allow comments. Uh, that's an important one. Your teacher will normally want to edit it or at least comment on it. Okay, so you want to enable those things there. And once I have the person's address, I'm just going to double check, make sure their address is right. Hit the uh, check mark. And now that file is shared with that other person.